here we can see a very popular puzzle game named Tower of Hanoi. The rule of this game is simple. We have to move the disc from the left rod to the right rod, one disc at a time, so that the larger disc is never placed on a smaller disc, which makes this problem challenging to solve. In this game, we can see three rods, rod one, rod two, and rod three. If we start solving this puzzle, first thing will come up our mind is random guessing. But no, here we will find a recurrence relation and try to generate a function. So to find a recurrence relation, let's suppose this bottom disk is an n disk. And on the top of it, there is n minus one disk. We can say is n minus one is the number of moves to move n minus one disk. So to move n minus one disk to second rod, the number of move will be is n minus one. Then the bottom disk will be uncovered. So we can move it to rod three. After that, n minus one disk can be moved to the top of third rod, which will cost is n minus one moves again. From this, we can get is n, which is the total amount of moves to shift all the disk from first rod to third rod. By simplifying, we get two s n minus one plus one. Here, if we have to move just one disk, then we can easily say the number of move will be one. And if we don't have to move any disk, of course, the initial condition will be zero. So from that, we can say s zero equals to zero and s one equals to one. So we know the relation and also the initial condition. From that, we can get a sequence s zero, s one, s two, s three, and so on. Now we can define a generating function from the sequence, which is s x equals to s zero plus s one x plus s two x squared plus s three x cube, and so on. Now to obtain the final function, we can apply multiply rule and addition rule. After addition, we will get s x to two x s s x minus x by one minus x, which will be equals to s zero. We all know s zero equals to zero. So finally, we can get the function s x equals to x by one minus two x into one minus x. Next target is to find the closed form of s x. By simplifying this function, we can just write one by one minus two x minus one by one minus x. In order to find the closed form, we need to find the coefficients of x to the power n for these both terms. If we calculate it, one by one minus two x will give two to the power n, and one by one minus x will give one. From that, we can easily say the closed form will be s n equals to two to the power n minus one. That's the total number of moves to move n number of disks. So if we have three disks, then we can easily calculate two to the power 3 minus 1, 2 to the power 3 is 8, and if we have 1 from it, we will get 7. To, so to move 3 days, we need 7 moves. That concludes the focus of our presentation. To end, I would like to highlight the links of the material used to understand and collect the information for this presentation. Thank you all.